What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be on the Meta Comet Trail once again on Section 2. Uh, this area is about 3.4 miles. I don't, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing the whole thing. Um, I think we are, but I'm not 100% because we don't have much time. But yeah, uh, that's where the trail starts down there. And so we're going to go check it out and uh, show you some cool stuff along the way. Alright guys, so we were walking along and we found this old rock quarry here. It's really massive. Goes all the way over there. And you can see the peak of it there. So we're gonna check this area out and see if we can find any cool rocks to look at. And uh be sure to show you if we find anything else cool. Just wanted to give you guys kind of a scale of how big this is. That's the top. And then you can see them down there. So it's huge. Oh yeah, there's actually a fence on the top, you guys really can't see it, but up there, there's a fence to make sure that no one falls over, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to mess around and explore this area a little bit, and if we find anything, I'll show you. Alright guys, we're still heading up. Um, I couldn't film for a second there because there was a, uh, we w went by a firing range, so there was loud gunshot noises, so it would make the, make the recording pretty bad. You probably can hear them right now. I don't know if you guys can hear them on the camera, but uh, we just came up, we're on top of the mountain now. It's not a mountain, but I like to call it that. There's a firing range that way. But the uh, white trail continues this way, and so we're going to keep going here. And, uh, well, you guys definitely heard that one. But we're going to go and uh, look for some more cool stuff to show you. So I'll see you guys in a second. Guys, look at that. That's a really cool rock formation. Actually brings us on top of this little hill here. I'm gonna go check this out, show you guys. That looks pretty cool. This area is awesome, I love it. Nice hike. It's a rainy day, but I'd rather, you know, do something rather than sitting inside all day, even though it's raining. But it's pretty cool. Get back on the trail here. There's a little passageway down here. Another white marker, which goes down here. There's an awesome view that you guys can't see through the trees, but it's pretty cool. You see, <laughs> it's pretty cool. But yeah, we're still walking, still finding cool stuff. So, like I always say, oh, actually, you guys might be able to see there. It's too foggy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this camera a lot better than the other one. Because I know the other one was kind of annoying with the... The white balance was really bad on that camera. The audio was really bad too, so hopefully this one's better. Better until I get the other one. Or a better camera that's actually good. See you guys in a second. Alright, you guys can see a uh, rock wall down there. It's pretty cool. Like an old settlement. But this area, you can see, is really awesome. Uh, we're basically at the summit of this little, um, I don't know if you'd call it a mountain or a hill, um, but it's pretty high up. Um, there's actually an awesome view that's all cloudy that you guys can't really see through the trees, but we're actually really high up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this goes straight down, and that's the next level. 
it's really far down. See the woodpecker holes. Oh, this area is just really cool. I wanted to show you guys. But uh, we're gonna keep walking. Guys, look how awesome this is. This is really cool. This rock formation, and also, we have a city marker. I'm in three cities at once. Look at this. We've got Agawam, Southwick, and Westfield. It's pretty funny how I can stand here, and I'm in three cities at once. This is pretty cool. That's awesome. But still can see that awesome view through those trees. I don't know if you guys can quite see it. But this this hike is pretty uh, is pretty awesome. This is one of the best hikes I've been on in a long time. I know I say that a lot, but just like I've been constantly impressed on how awesome these, some of these areas are. Like just like I mean, I know this might be stupid to some of you, but just like a little rock formation like that. It's so cool to me. You know, just these simple things. You know, just like the landscape, how it looks, just how spread out the trees are, you know, the terrain. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I might want to put it away the camera, but, like, look at that. Just these simple things it makes it look so cool. But, yeah, it's starting to pour out a little bit, so I'm going to put away the camera, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you some cool rocks I found along the way. It's not really a focus, but you guys can see this white and black one. This one's um, like a red crystal-y thing. This one's dark dark red. And that one's like an orangey crystal-y thing. Just thought it'd be cool to show you guys. That it, thought it'd be pretty cool for those of you who like looking for rocks and stuff like that. But yeah, that was just, this is right after the last segment you guys just saw. So I'm still in the same area, just looking back. Just like that little strip of rock right there. All this looks awesome. So, like I said, we're going to keep walking, and uh, as soon as we find a view or something cool, you'll see it. It's not a this distance. Whoa! Nice! It's a really nice view. I like the view. Yeah. I'm not scared at all. So, guys, there's something here. It's pretty cool. This is right after that view. I don't know what this is. There's a little campfire there. Oh, it looks like there's a canoe right here. For some, or a boat of some sort. Oh, this is a power station. Okay. There's probably cameras around here, so i got to be kind of quiet. Oh, that's not... It's not a canoe. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It looks like a boat from back there. It looks like... Alright guys, um, sorry about not filming up there, but the reason why is there was a whole bunch of video cameras and everything, so I didn't want to, you know, get in trouble for filming if we're not supposed to. Uh, basically what was up there was a huge um, building that was abandoned, it was all boarded up, and uh, it's like a radio station slash like cell phone reception, like a broadcast center for like, see if there's like a tornado or like a... It's basically like a like a weather um, broadcast station, like weather alerts and stuff like that. 
Um, there's also a uh, forest fire watch tower up there. There's actually a worker in a truck up there as well. And uh, we tried to say hi, but he he didn't hear us. But he was inside of one of the buildings. And um, yeah, we just basically that was our ending point because it just went back down to the street, and we'd have to walk a long ways back. So we're just gonna take the trail back. It's shorter. But yeah, I have a picture of the building and everything. That'll probably be the thumbnail, or if it's not the thumbnail, then uh, I'll clip it in the video somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just want to tell you guys that we're heading back, and uh, I'll do my outro as soon as we get to the car. So I'll see you guys at the car.